Thanks for joining me in this video. I'm going to quickly show you how to transfer files from your DSLR camera to your computer, whether it's a laptop, whether it's a desktop or whether it's a mobile phone. I did do a full one about mobile phones, so make sure you check that one out. And it is nice and easy. You basically use your camera, you take photographs as you would normally do, you'll take videos as you would normally do. And how it works is your camera has a memory card. So if you're not familiar with it on the side, it's where it stores everything. Most of the time, people have really large memory cards that they store everything on, like 128 gigabytes, and they never have to take a card out. So they don't normally know. So you can take the card out, which is where it stores all the information. I use smaller memory cards. This is a 16 gigabyte SanDisk card. And now this has everything on that was taken on the camera. So photo and video. You can simply insert it into a SD card reader. There's different types available. This is a Lexa brand one and it actually has USB 3 power. So it's a bit quicker for downloading videos and photos from the card. You simply plug it to your computer via USB. So let me show you how that looks. You basically push your laptop up sideways. You plug in the USB the right way around, hopefully, just like that. You turn your laptop on and it'll actually allow you to remove it as a removable device. So when you go to this PC, you'll see a device come up and you can simply copy and paste all the files from the memory card if your laptop has USB. If it doesn't, you may actually have an SD card reader built into your laptop or your computer. Many of them do. Let me show you what that looks like so it saves you having to search for it. So if you look on the side here, you normally see a slot for SD card or micro SD card. You can see mine is just here. How it works is put the memory card in and that is your card reader. That isn't as high speed as this because this is USB 3 powered and it allows you to transfer files and video a lot quicker than the standard card reader in your laptop or your computer however the laptop does have that function and the only time it won't is if you have different memory cards because some of the more pro cameras the bigger DSLR cameras take CF cards which are compact flash cards these are SD cards but the good thing about this type of card reader is you can put in the big size or the small size so depending on the camera you're using you can do that and it allows you to be able to transfer off the files nice and easily so that would help you and make sure that your cable that you're buying is a usb 3 it normally comes with the unit if you're buying it all together and this is a lexar type one you can get other brands and you'll notice that your camera whether it's a smaller camera or a bigger camera the same in terms of you can take the card out cf card plugs in and there is another way of doing this as well where you could plug your camera into your computer and take it off without having to take the sd card out let me show you that option just so you're aware of it so in the side of the camera you will normally have different types of leads you can actually plug in a usb cable here mini usb is what my this camera takes and i can plug that into the computer and transfer the files off via the lead so there's a couple of ways of doing it. If you have a mobile phone, you can actually get OTG cable, which I talk about and link this to your mobile phone, you take it off that way. Uh, but that gives you a quick overview of the possibilities there. There'll be a few more about how to get files from your computer and transfer it. So I'll see you on that next video there.